Hello, and thank you for tuning in to the Foil Hat Broadcast. I'm Dylan. And I'm Reese. Uh, hi, how are hi, you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. It feels how are like you? it's been 3,000 years. It feels like it's been a really long time. Yeah. But uh, we saw a movie. Yes, we did. And thus, we have a topic for this week. Yes, we do. Because you and I went to see Annabelle Creation. Yes, we did. And we'll talk about that later, so y'all don't have to worry about spoilers. But we decided, you know, why not? Let's do dolls. Well, here's here's a haunted dolls, yes, but here's a case of ghosts. We don't have spoilers. What do you think of the movie? Okay, well, here, um, I enjoyed it, and I looked on like IMDb earlier today or like yesterday, and you know how when we got out, because we saw it fairly early on, like it had just come out, right? Yeah, it was the day it came out. Right. So, so we were hearing a lot of like, you know, like eights or nines out of tens or whatever, mm-hmm. and then we came out of that movie, and we're like. It was all right. It was like a five. It was, good. It was like a, it was a mid range. Yeah. It was on the good half, oh, but yeah. it was mid range. Yeah. So I was just like, I looked on there. I'm like, yeah, it's like at seven. <laughs> so it's like the middle of the good. Yeah. Um, which I agree with. Um, yeah. It was fun. It makes more sense than a ten. I, it, yeah, it wasn't a ten. It wasn't a nine or an eight. It was a seven at best. Seven at best. Seven um, on a good day. On a good day, and it was a good day. It was a good day. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Um, I, going in, didn't realize it was um, a Conjuring movie. Well. Is that what people know that going in? Because there was this, this prequel to the other Annabelle movie mm-hmm. that, I the other Annabelle, that I didn't know existed. The other Annabelle movie I've seen, because I'm a huge horror movie buff, I don't remember it for the life of me. It's okay. the same situation with Mothman Prophecies, <laughs> where I know I've seen the movie. Like, I know I've seen it. Yeah. But I totally forgot it. But it, it's... So about 45 minutes in, I'm going to be like, mm, this movie's terrible. I remember why my brain just suppressed the memory the memory of that To be movie. fair, a lot of movies are better than the Mothman Prophecies. Not Annabelle Creation. Because... No, Annabelle. Annabelle Creation was good. Annabelle Creation was way better than Mothman. Annabelle was terrible. Was it? It was terrible. Really bad. I have to see it now. All right, I'm gonna look on Rotten Tomatoes really quick. I'll show All you. right, it got a 29 percent on oh Rotten Tomatoes. Oh my god! Okay, and so 36 percent audience score. Right. I mean, we'll we'll talk more about Annabelle creation later because yeah. we can have a full in depth discussion about what we liked and didn't like about the movie. But that would be spoilers, so we're not going to do that. Oh, um, I remember this. Movie. In the meanwhile, though, we have many other haunted oh, doll yeah, stories. Oh yeah, there's a lot. Because as it turns out, haunted dolls happen to be like the the most frequently found haunted objects. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like it's them and mirrors, like mirrors or uh, like someone's basement. Yeah, is haunted. Dolls number one. Dolls number one. Then homes. Then mirrors. And then just life. Life is haunting. As life well. is haunting. Full of ghosts called adults that day to day feel sad about themselves. Oh my god, but it's life. But, but <laughs> I mean, Annabelle isn't the only fucking haunted doll, though. No, there's a lot. And they all kind of have the same rhythm to them. They but do. We should start with one of them. I, Why don't we talk about um, Bobbert? Bobbert. You want to talk Robert about Robert the doll. Mm-hmm. I have. Robert information. Do you have Robert information? Um, Here we are. So, Robert the doll, um, from what I understand, he was supposed to look like a little jester clown in a sailor suit, and if you look at pictures of him, his face just looks like a potato. He looks like a cork. He looks like a cork potato. He looks like a cork potato Um, with sack feet legs, and he has his own little puppy. Yeah. But Robert gets his name from his previous owner, uh, artist Robert Eugene uh, Otto. Otto. Or who was more known as Gene, who actually called him Robert. So in order to avoid confusion, I guess just went by Gene, or the other way around, because creepy, little creepy, creepy tidbit. Little creepy this tidbit. is what this is what kind of enhances the doll's like mystique is that, you know, the um, fact that Robert the doll was given to Robert. Yes. By an unhappy servant who practiced dark magic. Ah, uh, this is the he was like a like a. Um, those, a Caribbean? Yeah. Is it a Caribbean? It was like a voodoo type of thing. Were they in the Caribbean? Were, I don't know if they were personally but, in the but Caribbean. They were from like Jamaican. But that type of thing voodoo. happened a lot, I think, in, in, in America especially, right? You well, get... because you get uh, a lot of the 
a touchy subject, especially now. Yeah. Slave trade. Um, a lot of it was in the southern and the Caribbean region mm-hmm. because the tropical regions where they had all the cotton and especially sugarcane farms. Yep. And that's, they needed the labor. Well, they needed the labor. Uh, they could get the labor. Um, and so that's where a lot of African descended people come from. Mm-hmm. That's where Haiti is. That's where Jamaica is. is and in where those, Jamaica is? I think so. Where is Jamaica? I don't know. It's Fuck. pretty close. <laughs> I don't know my geography, but it, it, it's 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 where you know a lot of the in the, the south in that region is where they all especially in like usually from. in like Louisiana is yeah where you get the type of people from like the Caribbean because that's where the, the where, Haitians go to, yeah. to Louisiana that's why Louisiana especially New Orleans has a, New Orleans has a lot of voodoo yeah. like, influence because that culture was brought from Africa to that region mm-hmm. thanks to the super depressing Triangle slave trade yeah yeah. But yes, so <laughs> Robert was given to Robert, yeah, also called Jean, yeah, by a upset servant who practiced voodoo mm-hmm. or hoodoo, or however or you just black magic in general, whatever brand you like to use. It's um, a small race that's called black magic. Um, black magic doesn't mean black. No, I know. Black magic just means it's a derogatory term for evil. I know, but like still, to Did be I like slave you? trade, black magic. It's just like calm down. One racing. of the earlier, one of the earlier, um, like slasher movies mm-hmm. was called Black Christmas. I don't know if you've ever seen Black Christmas. I have not. But when you see the name Black Christmas, especially during the time, your immediate like thoughts idea. is like it's going to be a black exploitation movie, and then yeah. it turns out it's just like, oh, they're just using black for a, uh, a derogatory term for evil. Uh, it's not; it has nothing to do with a black family at Christmas. So that just sounded. This sounds like a Tyler Perry. It does, right? Tyler Ma- Perry's Black Ma- Christmas. Ma- Medea's Black Christmas. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. No offense. But I hate those movies. <laughs> I do too. They're awful movies. I had one Tyler Perry movie that I genuinely loved, mm. and it was Why Did I Get Married? I thought that was which is so not a Medea movie. Which was not a. I don't watch the Medea movies. Medea movies are inherently atrocious. Yeah. How does he keep making? So is anything with David Spade though. So to be fair. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Except for the Emperor's New Groove. Uh, Again, there's exceptions. There's always to exceptions the to these rules. Um, but about Robert. Yeah. So. He wasn't really haunted until after Jean died. You see, that's not what I get. Okay. I get that throughout uh, Jean's, I'm going to call him Jean, because so it's separate between easier, Jean yeah. and Robert, throughout his childhood, um, Jean's parents would hear him like having like, a play conversation with the dog. Wasn't this also like Jean would blame Robert for shit he yep. did? Yep. Because it's like, oh, I didn't do it. Robert did it. And, and Robert would just sit there like, <laughs> like, I'm a doll. I'm a doll. And yeah, they would be like, they would assume that he was replying to himself, mm-hmm. but in like a changed voice, which oh, is yeah, weird because that weird. means that he was in a replying in a different voice. No wonder this kid grew up to be an artist. You need to be a little yeah, crazy you need to be a little, to be an little crazy. Yeah. And so like neighbors would say that they would see the doll moving from outside the window oh, God. when the family was out. And sometimes the doll would emit like a terrifying giggle. I don't know who heard that. Oh, I think that was I think it was later because they were like, yeah, like like a plumber who was working on the auto house could hear the giggling, and then it was Robert, and Robert was there, and he was like, no, leaving, because this was you know you, uh, he kept Robert until his death. Yeah, in like two thousand. No, it was nineteen. Sorry, Poopa. We'll get to Poopa later. It was two thousand five. Robert was nineteen seventy four or five. Yep. Um. And so the, 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 he wanted to have his house as a museum, but that didn't go through. No. So they sold the house. Mm-hmm. Um, and the woman who had the house kept Robert until creepy stuff started happening um, anytime. I think I remember one story saying that when she had people in the house, like maintenance workers or plumbers or whatever, and the house was well known in the community. Mm-hmm. So like they were talking about like, oh, yeah, that, that, that Robert, Otto, that Eugene Otto. Uh, he was like a crazy person or whatever, and then the doll would get upset, like like she said, like yep. the doll's face would be like a bit contorted, like in mm-hmm. in, in disapproval of these well, guys like, bad mouthing his owner. They would see the doll changing expression, like right in front of them, blinking, like mm-hmm. doing weird stuff. Which, like, I mean, if you could, if you see the doll, yeah. If you look at the doll, you should look at a picture. We will. Should we put a link to a picture of the doll? Uh, you can look because there's going to be a lot of images. Otherwise, y'all yeah. can look up. Just look up the doll. Robert. It the doesn't doll. have. A like face. eyelids, 
or a face. It's not like a face anymore. Robert the doll, because of the years it has been since his his youth, Mm -hmm. his new fresh out of the box. Um he looks like a um <clears throat> like the toy equivalent of a burn victim. Yeah. I, his face is gone, essentially. Mm-hmm. It's just like little little lumps for eyes. It's like two little black dots. And a little, little mouth. And then it's just like a shaped mouth. His face looks like a potato. Yeah. Like think of a russet potato. And then put two and black put eyes on it. To put you don't even have to. If it's just like two dark spots <laughs> that might be eyes. And then put that onto the body of like a a a, 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 a worn sailor outfit <laughs> and that's robert the doll yeah but like it's just some creepy stuff we're gonna have to write letters to robert now i know we're sorry please don't murder me in my sleep i don't think he ever like threatened them did he they, they oh were and just, he like, like brings him bad luck and yeah stuff. Like, it's like, just bad, bad stuff luck, starts but, happening but it's not like I'm not trying deadly to make fun it's of just you. like he's just like messing with people i'm just saying he has so the power. in the night in the night so, okay, so the Otto family also would catch glimpses of Robert, like, running between rooms. Because he's a child. He's a, a child, playful little doll. Except for the fact that he's an inanimate object. So I can't. In the night, Eugene would, like, just start screaming. Okay, you didn't know, know like the, the screaming bit. Go ahead. Yep. And his parents would run into the room, and they would find, like, furniture knocked over, and, st- and like, books and papers just strewn about the room. Like, it looks like a hurricane hit the room. And he would be in bed, just terrified screaming that Robert did it. Robert did it! Robert did it! Do you think... I mean, the easy explanation for this, if we're like, oh, haunted is bullshit. Mm-hmm. Could Robert Eugene Otto mm-hmm. just have had a bipolar disorder? A split personality? Um, I don't want to say a split personality, because that mental illness is very... What, what, it's what? not... They haven't been able to prove that that's a real thing yet. I mean... Like there multiple have been multiple cases, but it, it, I mean, the proper term for it is, um, like, what was the proper term? It's like dependent personality, just sort of like something yeah. like that. Um, but it could be like a bit schizophrenic. Which, schizophrenia covers a wide range of mm-hmm. things. Manic, you know, could like, include yeah, bipolar. a different personality emerging, yeah. I mean, bipolar could... I mean, because personality is a tough one to nail down because yeah. a bipolar person could seem like they're two different people just mm-hmm. depending on whether they're in a manic or a depressive state. Yep. And I, I think Robert could have been. Yes. But then that begs the question, why would he... Why Why would the doll be, like, a thing? You know what I mean? He needs someone to blame. But then if, why would they see the mental... running around? That's the problem. That's the thing. It, all, it could just be haunted. It could just be haunted. Yeah. Which is why we locked him in a case in a museum. Yeah. Uh, which um, all these dolls seem to end up in museums. Yeah, well, except for Annabelle. Who they sealed into a... That, by the way, you see the picture of Annabelle, who's actually a Raggedy Ann doll, not like the movies. Yeah. Um, and you see her just sort of like crammed into this tiny cupboard that doesn't look big enough to fit the doll, so she's just sort of stuffed in there. Like, no, oh, goddammit. As soon as I get out, I'm gonna kill everybody. She doesn't even look angry. She just looks like a Raggedy Ann doll. She's just smiling at you, waiting. Yep, open for the someone case. to open the case. Open it. I dare you. And then there's a sign that says like, "No, they do not touch the case. The, it will eat you. Don't even come. Don't even come close enough to be able to breathe on it. Because the do- the demon will possess you. Yeah. Have we not figured out how to get that thing back to hell or whatever. I Jesus. don't know. This is what is this supernatural? You think we don't someone... know how to do this? We have priests. Um, oh, how much help they've been. <laughs> um, but Robert. Like many of the other dolls, a ends terrible up. Terrible joke popped into my head. Well, what's that? I mean, like, we're not talking about little boys here. We're talking about dolls. Wap wap, <laughs> Catholic Church. <laughs> Sorry to anyone who's involved with the Catholic Church that for some reason listens to two asshole college students talk about weird shit. Why are y'all on here? <laughs> but thank you for being yeah. and listening. And um, I mean, as long as you didn't molest anyone, I'm, you're good in my book. In like the good a, book. Love a priest. Um. Father O'Reilly, that was my priest for a really long time. Oh, nice. It was nice. I, I never had a priest because I was, I was raised Protestant, only my mom was Catholic. Oh. Yeah. But I know all the Catholic shtick because mm-hmm. my mom has got the shtick. Because right, my mom's Catholic. <laughs> um, that's so mean to someone's faith. Uh, as though it's a routine. Like, oh, yes, I've adopted the, the Catholic diet. You know, you don't. Um, so, according to Luke, <laughs> don't blame me, blame Luke. Blame Luke. Um, Robert ends up in a museum mm-hmm. because the lady just got fed up with his 
shit and and decided like i don't want this and she sold it to a museum um yeah. the east something marlboro Mar- marbella museum mm, yeah i almost got that name right but not really i got 40 percent of it um so there's actually more to the story with the family that moved in oh, to really? eugene's house okay so the doll was left in the attic of the house mm. and you know a new family bought it at, and um there was like a 10 year old girl who essentially became Robert's new owner. Whoa. Okay. And it's the same thing that happened with Eugene. The girl would like wake up and scream in the night, claiming Robert moved around the room and attempted to attack her on multiple occasions. And more than 30 years later, like she's this girl's still alive. And she still is well, like... it's the 70s. She's not, she's she's not 50,000 years I mean, old. yeah, true. <laughs> Obviously. Um, Our parents were alive in the 70s. It's not like it's a far stretch. <laughs> but she's still been, like, she's been interviewed about it, like, a few times. Right. And she constantly, and she, like, every time she tells interviewers that the doll was alive mm. and it wanted to kill her. Why is Robert so upset? Maybe because his owner died? I mean, yeah, but... So, this doll needs counseling, is what he yeah, means. Yeah, he just needs a therapist. He'll be okay. I, I'm always, uh, like, I have all of these dolls on, on, that I've, I've researched. I'm just, like, on the side of the doll for a lot of them. I'm like, why are you guys being dicks? Locking them in cases. Except Annabelle, who might just oh, be no. possessed by a demon. Yeah, she's, um, she's just the devil. That's just demonic. Um, I'm sorry, did, did, did you have any more to say about that? Or No, or, that was that's the end of the story in regard to the people who have owned Robert. But Yeah, to the museum. To the museum. Which I, I finally fa- I found the thing. It was the Fort East Martello Museum, and I don't know where exactly that is, but that's the name of the museum. Um, so they have uh, uh, Robert now, mm-hmm. um, and they have him on display, and he has a little case. A little puppy uh, in his arm. Yeah, he's, little, he's lovely, because you got to give him a friend. Yeah. Which I think that, I, that might be why he's chilled out a bit. Since then, because he has a homie, because he has a homie to hang with. Um, <laughs> dogs help everyone be. Oh yeah, I mean, and um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a like a like a uh, service animal. Service animal. Yeah. Service animal. Yeah, it's my service dog. He's a little service. He's dog. a little service. Dog. Um, which is cute. And but here's the thing, Robert, as I've said before, looks like a potato wearing a sailor suit. So a and lot the dog's of times, creepy too. <laughs> that dog looks like the stuffed equivalent of a chihuahua. Big bug eyes. Its head looks too big for its body. <laughs> it's just like little legs. Um, Robert looks like a potato. And so people make fun of him in the display. Mm-hmm. And Robert does not like that. No. Oh! <laughs> Reese almost, oh my god! Reese almost died. Robert Robert's like trying it. to kill us. Oh my god! I'm so sorry. I have to write a letter to this goddamn museum now. The Foil Hat Broadcast would like to publicly apologize to Robert the Doll. Jesus you do not Christ. look like a potato. And I'm glad you have a new friend to keep you company in the hard, stressful life you live. But some people think Robert looks like a potato. <laughs> um, and so they experience a lot of bad luck and they attribute it to Robert. So many people, and I think they say, like, they receive letters daily. Yeah. Um, people will mail or, or just come into the museum and, and, and put it near the, near the display mm-hmm. apology letters to Robert the doll so that they can be rid of their bad luck. And I think that's really cool. Also really creepy, but also really cool. Are you okay? Yeah. You're stressed out. I just, I just, open, like... Open a, open a Google Doc. Open a Google Doc for me. And... Can you start typing <laughs> an apology letter yeah, to Robert? Gonna, Thank you. Okay. Oh my God. That will be our that'll be our our, our uh, extra bit at the end. We'll do an apology letter to Robert. <laughs> okay. Um, my chair literally just like it, it like gave out, out for a little. Yeah. That was crazy. It's fine. We're That's fine. Never happened to this chair before. Not no, ever. I don't trust either of these chairs. I mean, I don't trust that chair. This I one, trust the chair that I'm sitting this in. This chair sounds like every time you lean back in it, a ship is pulling into dock. <laughs> um, but that's all I got on Robert the doll. Mm. But we're there. there ooh, hold up. There are many dolls in this mm. repertoire. Don't worry. Um, we have way more. <laughs> do, you, do you have any you want to talk about to okay. lean into? Because I've got Letta and I've got Poopa. 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 It's P-U-P-A. It's Poopa. So, it's a painting. This is a pretty short one. It's a painting of a boy and a very, very genuinely creepy doll, you know? So... Do you have a picture? I want to see this. I do. It's on another page. Here, let me pull it up. That's a painting? That's a painting. Do you see the hands? 
in the background of the painting. Yeah. Is that doll holding a gun? It's holding, like, some kind of battery. It's obviously electronic. Oh, that's the strut of the window. That's like the... Oh, okay. It looked like she was just like, don't don't fucking move, I'll kill the kid. (laughs) Don't move. Don't move, I'll kill the kid. So... Also, by the way, that child... Um, that ki- that kid's forehead. That's a, it's a Hitler use. Is that what it is? I mean, it looks, it looks like. I mean, probably not. No, I was just gonna say he looks like Frankenstein's monster. <laughs> that kid's forehead goes up about, I would say, a mile above his eyebrows. <laughs> so, a haunted tall doesn't even have to be a three dimensional object to cause terror in the life of its owner. Okay. <laughs> Also, I should say, if this portrait is supposed to be, like, the joy of childhood, no one looks happy in that portrait. The oh, kid no. looks unhappy, the doll looks unhappy. No, no, no. no it's, it's, it, the painting is called The Hands That Resist Him. Um, and it's said to come with, like, a really, like, terrifying and sad, depressing history. Okay. So, uh, according to the couple... The couple? What couple? <laughs> People who own the painting? I guess... Yeah. I had the same problem because there's there's Poopa. Actually, you never we never actually get the the owner girl's name. It's just the girl who owns Poopa. So, so I don't know. according to the couple that owns the painting, the hands that resist him. Sure. Um, the figures in the painting moved around a lot at night, and would sometimes disappear from the canvas entirely. Welcome to Hogwarts, <laughs> Cabbage Draconis. <laughs> May I take your order? <laughs> So the boy in the painting is said was said to uh, actually enter the room where the painting was hung, and everyone who viewed the painting reported feeling sick and weak. Like there would be like small children who would like look at the painting and run from it screaming. Let that boy out of the painting. He's trapped. The doll has him hostage. Right. And adults sometimes feel like unseen hands were grabbing them, and others said they felt a blast of hot air as if they had opened an oven. This is cool. Which is a little terrifying, because if you look at the picture, yes. you should look it up. You should look up the photo. Does it have a photo. title? It does. I probably said it three times. The Hands uh, That Resist Him. Right. Duh. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a little boy and a, a doll, almost like shoulder height to him. Yeah. Standing outside of a door with the glass paneling. And on the glass. And on the glass paneling, inside, behind him, there are little, their hands of little children. Yeah. Reaching out or holding the glass. Um... And then beyond that is just pitch black. Also, the doll has very dark eyes. It, they seem almost hollow. Like they didn't. Like the, the doll kids, is unfinished, and they I've, didn't put do- eyes. I said through. this before, but the kid does look like Frankenstein's monster. Huge forehead, a brow that shields his eyes from all light. <laughs> <laughs> he does not look happy. Mm-mm. He looked like he was just like, ugh, I have to stand here and hold this pose for how long? <laughs> It's very, it's very unnerving because mm. it doesn't seem like something you would like frame and you know hang over the mantle. Yeah, it's just it's a very unsettling piece of art. The doll. Every time I look at it, she looks like she's holding like a revolver to his <laughs> sternum. Like it's just like I've got that's the that's just part of the window pane. I know thing. it is, but it it looks like she's just. What like, is she holding? Because it has wires. You see that. Yeah, no, I, I, see I don't it. know what that is. I don't. Is that like her battery pack? Did she? Re- is she's alive? <laughs> she don't need. She don't or need no battery. Is she gonna install some kind of weird battery pack into him? The kid is a robot. <gasps> That's why he looks lifeless and dead inside. I don't. I, yeah, I don't know. I really don't. Well, go ahead. I'm so freaked out. Anything that else one's just, about that that's one? just no. That one's just that's a short one. But it's it, a short one. To the next I love how we, we are, it's been a while since we've had to, to take a visit to the foil hat art like show. <laughs> it's been since uh, fucking Denver Airport that we're like, let's let's uh, let's examine these murals. So we gotta explain these because you guys can't see them. No, you really should take a look at uh, the, the hand it's, that resisted. It is a beautiful painting. It's very it's well just done. Very unnerving yeah. and uncomfortable. But enough about Harold. I'm naming him Harold. He looks like a Harold. He looks like a Harold. I was going to say he looks like a Holden. H- Holden Caulfield? Yeah, I also knew a kid in, in middle school that was named Holden. Anything, anytime I hear Holden, I think of uh, Catcher in the Rye. Yeah. So. Well, everybody does. Everyone does. I've got a couple other ones that we can talk about. All right. Let's talk about Letta, which is short for Letta Me Out. Ah! Which I'm not certain how well... 
translates. That's Letta. You you have a picture there. Oh, Letta. No thanks. Yeah, that's the page I found too. Letta looks terrifying to begin with. Is that a girl? It's supposed to be. Well, I'll get to that because that bit is a bit fishy. But here's the here's the gist. So Letta was found in an abandoned house in Wagga Wagga, New South Wales. <laughs> that is a town. That is a place. What is my laugh? By uh, by a man named Kerry Walton uh, in the 1970s. He was attending a funeral, I believe, at the time, and, and he had always dreaded the haunted house. You know, he was always afraid, like, oh, haunted house. This is one of his childhood fears. Mm-hmm. So he went to this place to sort of absolve himself of that fear. And in a dark basement underneath the house, he saw Letta, which is terrifying when you see eyes looking at you in a dark, abandoned basement. It just turned out to be Letta. Um, so he takes the doll oh, back with him as a mm-hmm. souvenir of this excursion he went on back to his hotel room and immediately the doll started to unnerve him i mean one if you look up let me out creepy looking doll i i would describe it as a witch without the green and he just like even with the doll in the room he felt completely unnerved and he could not sleep he could not fall asleep until he got up put her in a bag and then put her back under the house I should knock something off. I'm sorry. <laughs> put her in a bag and put her under that back under the house. And that's the only time he could sleep. Like he couldn't get any rest because there was just this unease about that. So he he did keep her, but he did try to get rid of her. But no matter what he did, he like he found someone that he could sell it to, and they were going to take him up on the offer, and he just couldn't follow through with it. Eventually, he goes to f- check this doll out, see wh- where does it come from, what's it made of, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. Turns out, by um, comparing the woodworking skill that Letta is made from and the two nails in her feet, by dating it and all that, Letta is around 200 years old. Wow. And the style is mo- probably from Eastern Europe. Yeah. Which is why Letta is also called Letta the Gypsy Doll. Mm-hmm. Um, here's where things get a bit fishy, because I'm not one to believe psychics. Mm-hmm. But he went to some psychics to see what the up would the doll and they had told him that uh the doll ha- had had looked to be made from based on like the son of the person who grafted them and the son had died at age six while drowning you know these are people who are like i sense the dead people whatever nah. eh, could just be a weird doll it's like no one looks like that Especially not a well, six-year-old. Yeah, but... A six-year-old does not look like that. Yeah, I know. Don't look at me and like, like <laughs> you believe everything, don't you? <laughs> I'm gonna burn down your fucking dreams. <laughs> no, they don't. But the argument was made that, you know, it was a bit like a... It was a cartoon, like a, like a, a caricature representation of the kid. Mm. And caricatures rarely look like children. Um, you ever see those things? The like, giant heads and it's like... Oh, yeah, he's got ears. I'm going to make him look like de- de- deformed dolphins. Yeah. He's going to have forehead ridges. <laughs> and he's going to have a goofy face. Um, I don't know. My mom used to get caricatures of me when I was little. I hate time. caricatures that creep me out. Uh, like the draw, like the, the, the hands that resist him. And um, uh, like I said, the doll seemed to have some sort of weird hold on him. Like he was unable to get rid of her, him, her, Letta, at all. Um, like, 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 he would try and, like, it, it would just, like, he would never be able to follow through with it. You would think after being uneased by an object for so long, you'd want to be rid of the thing. But anytime he tried, he just couldn't follow through. Okay. I'm reading a thing that I'm very uncomfortable with. Go ahead. Because that's so, the same page I have. The doll's hair was discovered to be real human hair. Real human hair. And, and under underneath the scalp, the scalp was, was a the... carved brain. What? Yeah, so this doll has a brain. There's so much attention to detail there. Like, it's does absurd. it also have a liver? Like, I cut can't. open the doll as a beating heart. I can't. That's terrifying. Mm. So some people and animals react quite violently to Letta's presence, mm-hmm. uh, especially upon first encountering it. Um, dogs would often go into hysterics and try to t- attack the doll and tear it apart. Well, I feel like that's a bad sign. People just felt, like, uneasy, and sometimes they would, like, get into hysterics, like, just around it, just because like, there's, like... You know, have you ever had a panic attack? Yeah. It's like that. Um, oh. So, yeah, that's Letta. Also, I think... I don't know if this guy's still alive, but I think he still has Letta with him, if he if he is still alive. Bury Letta with him, please. Just get rid of it. Also, apparently, according to him, like, he's not allowed to get rid of it, because if he did, like, a horrible things would happen. 
So he has to be Leda's companion forever. Why does why does he think that? I don't know. The fucking psychics told him or some bull. Yeah, psychics suck. Psychics are dumb. If you're a psychic, write to us at the four L hat broadcast at gmail dot com. Um, or just like write us a leather leather. Leather. Write us a leather. (laughs) Write us a leather. (laughs) Write us a leather. Get like a leather thing and then press your like with with stencils. Press in a leather. Just send us leather works, please. I want a leather belt that says "fuck you, psychics are cool." <laughs> um, that'd be awesome. Thank or you. Or just "fuck you, comma psychics." <laughs> fuck you, psychics. Yeah. So that's Letta. That's what I got on her. Him. It looks like a her. I'm sorry. Uh, I does it. It looks like both. It's an androgynous witch doll. It looks like like it looks like a very 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 it like old long, long hair though. Like Ukrainian woman. It's <laughs> yeah. Like a babushka. It's, it's a babushka. It's a babushka doll. Mm. Leave grandma alone. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. But that's Letta. Do you have anything else you want to comments? Someone oh, claims re-comment. to be Carrie's granddaughter. Sure does influence his owner. I should know I'm Carrie's granddaughter. And so I said, "Well, now I'm curious. How does it influence and then nothing. him?" And then nothing. Yeah. So it's like, okay. Well, whoever comes back to a blog spot page, right? <laughs> Anyway, do you have a all you want to share with us? Sure. What do I got? I don't know, man. I got I don't stuff. Fucking police you. <laughs> Whatever, Dylan. Whatever. God, the show's over. The show's over. So there's Mandy. Mandy. Um, Mandy the doll was donated to the uh, Quesnel and District Museum. Yeah, I don't think that was written well. That's not correct. It was it was donated to a museum in British Columbia. There you go. In 1991, and almost immediately, that is a weird underneath. Why does Mandy? (laughs) I was gonna say Mandy looks like a turkey, like a. She's very bottom heavy. uh, You know, you plucked all the all the feathers off. It looks like a turkey you're about to toss in the oven. <laughs> you know how there's always jokes in kids shows are like, "Look, I can make the turkey dance." Gobble, <laughs> gobble, gobble. That's what Mandy looks like. My mom did that to me once and I cried really hard when she put it in the oven. Well, yeah, you're not supposed to give something life and then throw it into the oven. I didn't eat it. I refused. <laughs> well, just on pure principle, it was my friend. Could be worse. Could be could be could be Gordon Ramsay's kid. Oh my god. Gordon Ramsay's kid's like the luckiest kids because he's such a dorky dad. Yeah, he is, but he's also one of those people that's like, we're going to know where the food comes from, so you're going to raise these chickens, and then you're going to have to kill the chickens for dinner. No, that's yeah. when I become a vegetarian. Yeah. So almost immediately, she gave the impression of being like a really creepy doll. I mean, just looking at her, her face is all cracked, and she just looks, she's like she looks like at one point she was super cute. She had a bad time. She, she just looks like, she looks like she had way too much fun at EDC. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. She went to a rave and got knocked around a bit. Cracked her porcelain. So, she left people feeling really uneasily. Especially when unexplained activity began to take place around her. Ah. So, like, just weird stuff, like, super weird stuff started happening. Like, Mandy would cry in the middle of the night and, like, leave windows open. She needs the air circulation. Leave her alone. Which is when, like, that, that was when um, they the family that owned her decided to turn her into the museum. Ah. Um, now. We don't want it. Yeah. She makes the staff's lunches disappear or walks around at night to frighten the guards. Or, uh, in, in regards to the lunch thing, uh, provides an, easel, an easy scapegoat for assholes who want to take other people's <laughs> fucking food. Yeah. It's, like, it's just like, Fuck, where's, my, where's my ham sandwich? Oh, it's the doll. Mandy did it. <laughs> Fuck oh. that doll who eats sandwiches all the time. <laughs> she keeps stealing my soup. Mandy, the soup stealer. <laughs> Cursed object. So, Mandy was really just like, um, she was a 90-year-old. She's a 90-year-old doll. Okay, so she's... Not, Yeah, she's pretty old. She belonged to um, the grandmother of the person who turned her in. Sure. To the museum. Okay. And while it was, she was like a very treasured like family possession there was very very obviously something wrong and it made the family and the woman and like her husband and her kids feel very very uncomfortable and anxious around it uh the curator the curator the second she grabbed the doll to put it into like a case or like look at it and find out really how old it is right yeah. she became like immediately uneasy ah. just from touching it <laughs> nope she Draw. assumed 
it was just because the doll was just kind of creepy looking and had like old fashioned faded quilt like clothes. Hi, I'm Mandy. Um, and parts of the body were ripped and the face was kind of cracked and so we she's just like, okay, it's kind of creepy, so it's that. <laughs> Where's the tuna sandwich? Um, however, when they placed the doll into a bag, um, to put it into like the the storage room store. That's not gonna piss them off. Well, it was for further to like really. Well, you have to make a plaque for the doll. Yeah, to explain I know. the doll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to put it in. You have to get people to, like test it, test the fabrics, test the metals and whatever. Make is sure in the doll. it's not gonna deteriorate at a like a lens flash. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. They people in the room who would check on the things, dust the clean the place. Heard that bag, specifically that bag wrestling. Uh, and most of it, most of the people that are going in there are janitors. Yeah. You know, just cleaning it out before they go take that stock and do whatever they're going to do. So they would go in to clean and it would be that bag specifically that would wrestle. And they didn't even know what was inside of it. Eh, okay. So just like that, that, what? And the, and so. Did someone put a baby in a bag? And there was a janitor. Get that baby out of here. Um, there was a janitor that That's brought it to the attention go. of the curator, the, the owner, the runner of the museum. Yeah. Being like, okay, so yeah. we, I believe that there are like insects or rodents or something in, in the bag with whatever's in there. And I think we should take it out and we should clean it, get it cleaned right away because we don't want to have these insects or rodents messing Damaging with any of the other the exhibits or, or, the, or the doll itself. So you take it out, nothing in there, just the doll rustling the bag. Because, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you can't keep me in here forever. I'm going to be in the bag. I don't want to be in the bag. I can't breathe in here. This is a little bunny friend. No, this is my friend, Winifred Jenkins. <laughs> Winifred Jenkins? My, my, my bunny friend. Or it's like a lamb or something. A little lamb. Mindy had a little Yeah, lamb. so this doll's on display because Mindy. it's haunted? Um. Or was it like a... Why else... It was. It was. Was it a specifically a haunted museum? I think the woman gave it to the museum to get rid of it, not saying it was haunted. Ah. Uh-huh. And then the museum found out it was haunted. Super haunted. Super haunted. Yeah. If there is an if there is a doll screaming and rustling, then you got yourself a ghost. All these dolls just need counseling. She's just sad because her original owner died. Everyone's upset. Everyone's sad or the original died. owner's soul is now bound to a li- of inanimate object, and they're just like, "Please break the doll so I could leave." Right? Don't put me in a museum for a hundred years. Burn Thank you. the doll. Free my soul. Oh, there's an origin story. Origins, Mandy. Origins. You want to hear the Mandy origins? All right. A man was walking past a farmhouse when he thought he heard some crying coming from within. Yeah. The odd part about this child's cry was that the passerby knew the farmhouse had been emptied and abandoned, so no child should have been present. Excuse me. Uh, he walked up the drive and knocked on the door with no answer. The crying continued, so he looked around. He entered the empty farmhouse and discovered the crying came from below his feet. Not knowing how to access the building's cellar from the inside, hmm. he went back outside to find the external entrance. Right. And as he opened the stone doors, light illuminated the room, and he made the shocking discovery of the Mandy. body of a young girl, oh. long dead. Shit. Okay, never mind. Was so that's Mandy. Was laying on the floor, a doll held in her arms. Her soul is in the doll now. Mandy's in the, Mandy is the just the vessel. So it's unknown why the girl was in the cellar in the first place, whether it was whether it was by accident or some sort of crime slash punishment. Yeah, Regardless, long? it is believed that when she died, her spirit decided to inhabit the doll. That makes sense. I mean, it sucks. I guess that's the best thing you got if you don't have another person to possess. Yeah. So it's always dolls, I guess, because they're like human shaped, so it's easier for souls to get into them. Yeah. Is that what Toy Story is? Is, uh, yep. Toy, Toy Story is about is about haunted objects. Mm-hmm. I mean, it must be. Woody is the soul of like a cowboy who died in like the, 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 the and Buzz days. is just I don't know, I don't know. The first this Buzz Aldrin who's not dead. He was one of the like the failed astronauts from like Russia. <laughs> yeah, the no. lost cosmonaut. He's a lost cosmonaut. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear, lost cosmonaut. All right, what do you got? What do I got? I got Poopa. You got Poopa. Poopa. So poop, 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 let the dogs out. Poop, poop, poop. poop. Poopa. Poopa is uh, in the name. I'm just going to, so it can 
get over it's the same freaking blog every time and i know it because that's the same page i looked at poopa is very tiny that's poopa oh this tiny little thing she's like 14 14 centimeters tall or whatever um poopa by the way is the latin name for a doll it's just oh okay so that's where poopa comes from poopa was made in the likeness of her owner and the image is there on on if you look, look up poopa the doll yeah i can see that yeah um for that that girl, we don't know the name of, and I've never been able to find. I, I didn't find it. It's probably easy to find if you Google it, but I, I didn't. Um, it was made in the 1920s, and the owner kept her until her death in 2005. So it's wow. fairly recent. Um, she lived a long time. The the young girl, the owner, often claimed that Poopa was alive and had a will of her own, and she would help her out in, in tough situations. She also shared all of her secrets with the doll. Mm. Um, now. Uh, this is actually a fairly short one and it's actually like like once you read it you're like oh poop was just nice uh poop was nice um so the doll survived many many decades obviously from the 1920s to the 2000s oh yeah um and was still in decent condition um and so being brought everywhere with this woman uh, throughout her life she traveled all over europe she survived the second world war wow. so poopa was through a lot and poopa has a little button on her dress that comes from the owner's grandmother who, who died during the war, I think, during the war. Or just the grandmother who died. So a little bit of grandma to go with Poopa the doll. Um, That's some so, drag me to hell stuff. Though. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Here's, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, here's the thing, though. Don't put Poopa in the cupboard. She doesn't like being put in the cupboard. Mm. Um, Poopa will tap on the glass and try to get your attention if she's in the cupboard. Also... Once upon a time, because I think she either ended up in a museum or in someone's house, as the, all these dolls tend to do, mm-hmm. the the case got really dirty, the glass case, so they went to clean it, and when the woman went to, like, fog up the glass with her breath, you know, to wipe it off, you know, she could see smudge marks, and it, and, and, and it, and it said, it said, Poopa hate. No! Poopa hate. <laughs> no! Poopa doesn't have a very large vocabulary. Um, for someone who's been alive for that long, yeah, poop I hate. Also, uh, I don't like that. Some it's reported that sometimes her face will change, but uh, as with this and every other doll on this list, every image that you find online, the face is the same. Yeah, so it's hard to believe that, but there you go. Uh, also, I also I want to describe Poopa's face if you if you like that sort of like woo. I I wanted to. <laughs> Poopa's face. Uh, this is me very late at night when I wrote this, so I have no idea what I'm about to say. <laughs> um, one, uh, okay. Sometimes her face changes, apparently, despite the fact that every picture available has the same face. One of someone who has just been walked in on during an embarrassing J.O. sesh. J.O.? Yeah. Jerk off. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, didn't, I wasn't going to be able to put that together. J.O. J.O. sesh. <laughs> she does look like that. Right? Like, oh, oh. Sh- oh. I wasn't doing anything. Uh, I wasn't doing anything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Here's my thing about Poopa. I don't think... I think she's upset. She's obviously upset. She said Poopa hate. Yeah. But she's a traveler. She wants to go and see the world. Like Take her Stanley. out. Yeah. Let her go see the world. Yeah. She's obviously not happy in a cupboard being kept up. Cooped up. She's, her whole life was spent venturing around Europe. Why don't you give her to something? Give her, give her to a child to take her along. Although hopefully the child won't get possessed. But that's Poopa. Yeah, that'd be cool. That, that was a dumb possessed. joke I made, but that was Poopa. <laughs> I didn't get it. Nah, it's cool. <laughs> you know, J- you know, mm, J- yeah, J- you know, the little, uh, J- J- that, those are the three dolls that I brought to this table. Do you have anything you want to talk about, Annabelle, or the? Or the doll forest, or whatever. I got, I got, oh, 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 Okiku. Kiku. So the doll was originally purchased in 1918. Okay. By a 17-year-old boy named, and I'm going to call him Suzuki. Because that was actually his last name, and I'm not trying to be racist. Yeah, it's Suzuki. Su- 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 While visiting Sapporo for a marine expedition. He bought the doll, god damn. Yeah, you know, it's good pauses. On, on Tanaki. Tanuki? Co- Tanuki Koji. Kan- Tanuki Koji, Sapporo's famous shopping street, as a souvenir for his two-year-old sister, Okiku. I said that right. Yes. The young girl loved the doll and played with it every day, but the following year, she died very suddenly of a cold 
Which I guess, did that happen? I guess. I don't know. Were colds that violent in 1919 or whatever? Yeah, I guess the war. It was, the family. That was Spanish flu, wasn't it? Yeah. It doesn't say Spanish flu. It said a cold. So I don't yeah. Know. The family placed the doll in the household altar uh, and prayed to it every day in memory of Okiku. Okay. Sometime later. For the culture. They noticed the hair started to grow. Okay. Burn the and it, altar. <laughs> and it was seen as the girl's restless spirit. It was seen uh, that the girl's... It was a sign that the girl's restless spirit had taken refuge in the doll. And made her hair grow. And made her hair grow. This is the least violent thing a doll has done so far. <laughs> no. Oh, and you can buy dolls on eBay. I want to do that. We should, we should look up some sick dolls. Let's talk about the island of the dolls. Just south of Mexico City, between the canals of something I can't pronounce, you find a small island with a sad background, uh, which never intended to be a tourist destination. This is actually very sad. Mm. Um, island of the Dolls. Which is not to be confused with the Valley of the Dolls. Not, no. So the lost soul of a girl who met her fate way too who met like a tragic fate. Aww. Way too soon and under strange circumstances um, is believed to be haunting the entire island. It's said that she was found drowned many years ago in this island, uh, and the, this is written so weirdly. Probably because it's a poorly done website. Whatever, I don't need this. Anyway. Here's the thing. So what happened was that the, this the, a man who essentially was the only uh, person living on this island by right. himself found a little girl drowned in the canal. He, you know, he, he picked her up and he buried her, and... He had no idea how he she even got to the island. He's right. the only one who lives on it. So a little while later... The whole island? Dude. It's a little island. Yeah, okay. It's a little one. Just Still, like right I, in the would, I would have a nice little island myself, yeah. yeah. Um, Hopefully not haunted. Well, now it's haunted. Now it's super haunted. Now it's super haunted. So he started uh, leaving out like little dolls and stuff for her, you know, to kind of keep her happy. And he noticed that she would be happy, but then I guess she would get tired of the dolls and he would leave out more and more and more until essentially the entire island is now the trees and the ground are covered in dolls. Have you considered my 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 boy, my man? Mm-hmm. Stop giving her dolls because she's done with dolls. Give her an Atari. <laughs> Way better. Also, probably makes her less angry because you just like you're like, oh, you're tired of the doll. Let me give you more dolls. Yeah, so they believe that the dolls were all, like, one by one, possessed by the dead girl's spirit. According to this guy's family, he was just driven insane by, like, an unseen force. And I mean, he was after giving f- dolls to a ghost. And after 50 years of collecting dolls and hanging them on the island, Julian, the name of the man who was living on the island, of course, right. uh, was found dead, drowned in the same spot where the girl was found. Oh, it's a cycle. Yeah. But now the doll island exists. So many people on the island, because now more people live on the island, believe that Julian has joined the other spirits of the island. The locals are very faithful that blah, 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 blah. Anyway, it's become a tourist attraction. People come up and leave dolls. Some of them take dolls, but end up sending them back. Of course. Don't take Don't the take dolls. Don't take the dolls. Anyway, it's You're a whole thing, and it's really, it's really sad. Do haunted dolls grow on trees? In Mexico, they do. <laughs> yeah, then uh, evidently. But it's really sad. This guy died, like, essentially driving himself insane, hanging dolls everywhere. That and a little girl died totally randomly. Drowning. And no one knew who she was. So that's depressing. Yeah. But that's the doll. Island of the dolls for Island you. Island of the dolls. Creepy little place. Yep. Should we talk about... <sighs> I think we're hitting the big kahuna. Are we hitting Annabelle? The moment you've all been waiting for. Da, Not da, the da, movie. Da. The actual doll, Annabelle. Annabelle is real! So, I'm a huge fan of the Conjuring series. And I haven't seen you, any of them. You have to, it's so good. Aside from the, the Annabelle creation movie, which just came out. Um, I'm a huge fan, and this was this was those movies were actually what got me into researching Annabelle in general. Nice. Which is why I know a little bit about it. Terrifying stuff. Okay. And the creepiest part of that, of, of all of those movies, including Annabelle creation, is the fact that this is a legitimate thing. This is a no. It's a legitimate thing. Okay. No, no, nope, nope. I don't know nothing about nothing. I know this is real. <laughs> G- give me, give me the deets. Okay. So. Mm. Don't just sit there and yell at me. Give me the info. <laughs> Fucking, you don't prove anything by yelling at me. 
It's the earth is flat. Down. The earth is flat. I don't believe you. <laughs> so, Donna. Donna. Got Annabelle from her mother in 1970. The mother bought the doll used from a hobby store. And Donna was a college student at the time living with her roommate, Angie. And at first, neither of them thought that the doll was anything special. But over time, they noticed Annabelle seemed to move on her own. And at first it was little, like, subtle little changes in position, the kind of things that could be written off as the dog just being, like, jostled around. We should also say, for those of you who have seen the movies, Annabelle is a Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah, that's very important to know. Not a porcelain doll, which like she's portrayed creepy, terrifying porcelain in doll. the movie. No, she is a Raggedy Ann doll. So, a little a floppity floppity Raggedy a floppity Ann doll. floppers. Um, Terrifying yeah. stuff. Well, the movement increased, and within a few weeks... Which is not a lot of time. No. Um, it seemed to become fully mobile. The girls would leave the apartment with Annabelle, name of the doll, Damn. obviously, on Donna's bed, and return home to find it, like, on the couch or something. Oh. Like, just in another room. And we're certain it wasn't college kids dicking with each other. It's not. In, it's in a, it's a separate apartment. Okay. This was, like, more like, it was, what were they doing? Nursing school. Right. They were okay. in nursing school. They weren't just, like... Freshman at the Y. It's not like, let's get wasted. Freshman gonna, at, at gonna university. Gonna throw the haunted doll in the pool. <laughs> Shove it in the keg for some reason. Don't drink. I'm a sophomore at Arizona State. Ring the booze out of the Raggedy Ann doll. Yeah, no. That's why she hates you. Yeah. Their friend Lou, who often visits, I suspect he was like a boyfriend of one of the ladies, mm. um, hated the doll, hated it. Uh, he thought there was something seriously evil with it. Uh, but the girls were modern women and didn't believe in that sort of thing. I feel like people have been modern since, like, 1910. Right. In that regard. You know, so it's like, you believe in ghosts? Fuck that. Yeah. So... <laughs> Do you know, in this day and age, 1902? Ha <laughs> ha, gists. But go ahead, yeah. Um, soon Annabelle's actions got, like, crazy... Like, crazy weird. Sure. Uh, and Donna began to find pieces of parchment paper in the house with me- messages written on them. Help us. And they would say, or they would say, they would say, like, help us or help Lou. Which Lou was like, F that. No. Nope. Um, and just to make the whole thing a whole lot creepier, no one in the house owned any parchment paper. So Annabelle has the magical ability <laughs> to conjure up old-timey parchment I paper. Know. Like, what? Or she's just stuffed with them, <laughs> so when she needs them, she's just like, <laughs> pulls it out. Help Lou. Uh, that's the one I need. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> so escalation, of course, continued. Okay. Because this is going to get worse and worse until it gets to the worst. I can't wait. One night, Donna returned home to find Annabelle in, in her bed with blood on her hands. Um, The blood, or some sort of red liquid, they, they look like blood, seemed to be coming from the doll itself. Just oozing. Just oozing blood. Like, uh, uh, Virgin Mary statue eyes bleeding style. Yes. Just coming from nowhere. That was enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Donna finally agreed to bring in a medium. That's not what I was going to do. I was going to say, bring it to a church and have it burned. Yeah. So the medium sat with the doll and told the girls that long before their apartment complex had been built there, it had been a field out... That like it's like a whole big field and the property. A seven girl, a seven year old girl named Hannibal Higgins had found the doll, found dead in the apartment. Blah blah. It's just a bunch of nonsense. Okay, you know, you know, you know what I mean. Sure. It's a bunch of mumbo jumbo, spirity nonsense. It's a little girl named Annabelle Higgins, and she was dead in a field because why the hell not? Why not? And um, her spirit latched onto the doll. She found Donna and Angie to be trustworthy, and she just wanted to stay with them. She wanted to be safe with them. And kill. And murder them to death. They are going to be no witnesses. Yeah. So, these two girls, again, are nursing students. So they're, you know, empathetic and they're yeah. sweet people. Gotta and love a nurse. Gotta love a nurse. Donna and Angie agreed to let Annabelle stay with them. And that's when all hell broke loose. You don't invite the demons. It's not even that. They were like, yeah, you can stay in the doll. Yes, you can totally live with us. And they're like, yes, demon... <laughs> demons Evidently, locked and loaded. Demons uh, gain more power with validation. Like vampires. You matter. What? You can live with... We like you. Okay. <sighs> and then you hulk out. Yeah. Vampires, what? You have to invite them in. Yeah, but that's like that's like literally stepping across the threshold, not like... You, you can stay in the doll. Uh... Whatever. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know much about vampires. Anyway, Lou started having bad dreams. 
dreams where Annabelle was in what his bed. We're gonna do the vampire episode. Fuck yeah! Right. Go ahead. In his bed, climbing up his legs as he lay frozen, mm. sliding up his chest like to sleep his paralysis. Neck. You must be. Yeah. Sliding up his damp da na sliding up his chest <laughs> <laughs> to his neck and closing her stuffed hands around his throat, choking him out. Okay. He would wake up terrified, head pounding like blood had been like cut off to his brain. Right. Because uh, he was being choked to death. Yeah. And he was he was just he became just ridiculously worried about the girls. Because there's something wrong there. A few days later, this is the longest <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's fine. A few I mean, days this later is, this is the the creme de la creme. Mm. The piece mm. de resistance. Mm. Please don't make that <laughs> noise ever again. I have to listen to that when I edit. I'm going to be really upset with you. A few days later, he and Angie were... <laughs> a few days later, he and Angie were hanging out, and they were planning a road trip when they heard something moving around in Donna's room. Okay. They froze, which they should have just assumed it was Annabelle, Who but they you thought think it is? was a break-in. I um, mean... I guess one was more likely than the other. So the so Lou like crept over the door, listening to the rustling in the room, and he threw it open, and everything was as it should be, except Annabelle was off the bed and sitting in a corner. Uh... He approached the doll, and was consumed with a f- uh, with a f- with, a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with like a burning. Sensation. Oh. Flames? Flames? On the, on the side on, of my on, face. But, like, on his back. On the back he of the, his neck. Huh? Heaving he, breaths. He, heaving breaths. Heaving breaths. 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 Um, so he was just feeling, like, this burning on the back of his neck. Right. Um, and so he, like, he turned around, and there was no one there, of course, and the room was empty, and then a sudden pain on his chest. Mm. And when he looked at his shirt... He saw a series of raking claw marks. Ah. Um, like Raggedy Ann don't have no claws. Ditches. Ditches. Yeah. And his flesh that had also been like cauterized just instantaneously. Oh, that's a little bit of a movie, kind was that of. You? Not really. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking of something else. Never mind. I'm mixing up my demons. Um, and okay. he, he knew that Annabelle had done it. Annabelle needs to calm down. The weirdest part, uh, the claw marks began healing almost immediately and were totally gone within two days. There were, huh. um, And there were, like, no wounds that any of them had ever seen before. It looked like bear, crazy bear stuff, but without the paw. Right. So, they finally, 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 I got an Episcopalian priest who in turn called Ed and Lorraine Warren. I don't know if you know anything about Ed and Lorraine Warren. No. Ed and Lorraine Warren are like... Oh, they're the people who talked about all this. They're the, yeah. the, the, the demonologists. Yeah. Right. Okay. They're very, very famous. So the Prominent Warrens come to the conclusion that the there's... the demonology community. I mean... I want to be a part of that community. I do, too. They're just, they're just like real life ghosts. Like uh, hunters. Real life hunters. Sammy. Good. We're not going to have another like... 20 minute supernatural conversation like we did like two episodes ago. Jerk. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I just I love thinking about Sammy. I didn't think about Sammy. Oh my god. Alright. Jensen. Didn't take the, lore, the Warrens long to come to the conclusion that there was no ghost in this case. There was an inhuman spirit, a demon attached to the doll. Um, but they warned that the doll wasn't possessed. Is demons don't possess things. Okay. Only people. It was clinging to the doll and manipulating it in order to give the impression of a haunting. So that it could trick Donna and Angie into thinking that it was a little girl instead of a demon. Right. Except that you kind of blew that up when you started trying to murder people. Yeah. <laughs> bad choice on your part. Bad strategy. Bad, bad strategy. The target, end all target, was Donna's soul. Do you want me to just do the whole thing? Because there's a lot. Give me what you think is important and or interesting. Okay. Well, they, they, they essentially put it in a bag. Okay. Uh, when they would, um, when they tried to drive with it, the brakes would fail. Mm. Or, or you know, they would be go, they would, the car would just start messing up at like 65 miles an hour. Like, okay, we can't do this anymore. 
So they drove slowly on back roads to get back to their home from Donna. They took the doll. Yeah, it's and they hard put to it crash in a bag. They're going like 20 miles an hour. Yeah. They put a bag, doused it in holy water, and, and closed the bag and kept it sealed like that. And um, when they finally got back to their home, the disturbances stopped. So, like, okay, Ed left the doll next to his desk and it began levitating. And that happened a couple of times uh, until it just seemed to, like, quit and lay, lay flat. Hmm. But a couple of weeks later, Annabelle was back to her old tricks. She started appearing in different rooms in the Warren house, sensing the doll was ramping back up. All the, all the holy water dried up. Yeah. yeah. Sensing the doll was ramping back up. Um, the Warrens called a Catholic priest to exorcise Annabelle. So it was a Catholic. Yeah. You, you never get, like, a, like a, like a, like a fire-breathing preacher from the South, like a, like a Baptist. Right. You know? And the law said... If a Baptist had performed an exorcism... Jesus! It would be the most theatrical exorcism ever. Leave us, Satan! Oh my god, okay. Has to be it's exactly that. Yep. So, the priest, however, didn't take it seriously. Big mistake. Telling Annabelle, you're just a doll, you can't hurt anyone. But on his way home, the priest's brakes failed in his car, I'm sorry, and was totaled in a horrible accident. Jeez, okay. But he survived. Don't fuck with Annabelle. Um, the doll was obviously not exercised because he didn't take it seriously. Yeah. And eventually the Warrens built a locked case for Annabelle and she resides there to this day. The locked case seems to have kept the doll from moving around, but it seems like whatever terrible entity is attached to it mm. is still there. It's bound to the doll. And it's just like biding its time, ready for the day when it can be free again. So it just sort of hovers around the case like, ugh. Just like, ugh. I can't leave. This museum is so boring. Ooh, more boring oh, yeah, come a little ever. bit closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. <laughs> and I can kill you or whatever. Why her soul, though? Um, Shouldn't any soul really do for a demon? I think because that was the, the person he was gifted, that the doll was gifted to. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. I guess that's the doll's owner. Demon rules are weird. Yeah, my name is Crowley. That's not where I was going with that conversation. <laughs> But okay. So, I mean, and I mean, I totally buy into the whole Annabelle thing. You do? I do. I think that's the only one that I really do buy into. Weirdly no, enough. Robert? Robert tried to... I kind of believe in Robert now, Robert because tried he tried to, to just kill kill me, your so. chair, yeah. This could be Robert. Robert I mean, could be alive. I, I, I don't know why I buy it. So, we've talked about Annabelle. So what do we think about Should Annabelle? we talk about Annabelle? We should talk about Annabelle creation a little bit. Hey, heads up, y'all. If you haven't seen the movie, this is going to be spoiler territories because we don't... You go see the movie. It was all right. Or don't. And you don't care. That's cool, too. Listen. What do you think it's going to be? That's what it is. There you go. That's the movie. Don't alter your first draft in the least. (laughs) That's what the movie is. Think of a pimp. There you go. Is that a P. Holmes thing? (laughs) Yeah, okay. Um, So I... We went to see that together. We should have taken pictures. And been like, hey, Facebook, look at us. Um, I we should have. Yeah, we should have. But we'll Done. do it next and time. And I was wearing my, my 90s artist overalls. And I was me. <laughs> I had all my hair back then. Way back in the day. Back in the day. On Thursday. A whole week ago. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed the movie. It was a good movie. Um, compared to the actual story, I see where... Because I guess... The movie creation is like the origin story for yeah. Annabelle. Mm-hmm. Because Annabelle originally was this little girl mm-hmm. who was this child, the daughter of a toy maker? Like a like a carpenter, and he made the doll. Yeah. Um, and then she got face she got smashed by a car. <laughs> obliterated by a goddamn car. She took it 100% to the face. She took, yeah, 300%. <laughs> Like when, when the car came into contact, she turned car. she turned into a mist. <laughs> it was really bad. Um, but like in that era, let me just say, what was it like the '30s when this was supposed to be happening? Yeah, it was. Well, if it was, if the movie proper takes place in like the '60s, did it take place in the '60s? Oh no, that was fast forward, and then it was like here's the '60s now. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was like, it was like, like the, the 50s. Th- '30s, '40s, '30s, '40s. I want to say, and then it was like ten years. It was twelve years between. Her death mm-hmm. and then the start of the, the rest of the film. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was like Cars don't go that fast. No, they, they don't. They don't go fast to miss a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it didn't actually miss the little kid, but it, it may as well have. 
it was, was going was... as fast as cars should have been able to at that time. Yeah. It was as fast as that's ever going to be. Um, so girl dies, and you're led to believe that Annabelle Ladal, mm-hmm. although not really, because when we first find the doll, it's she's in, in Annabelle's a room, room, locked in the closet, locked in the with, closet, like, Bible which is verses which covered. is yeah, it, it's wallpapered with Bible verses mm-hmm. and pages, and with a cross in the room. Obviously, not a little. You wouldn't bind a little girl like that. No. Um, so it isn't her, as it turns out. Big shocker. Little two, two, like eight-year-old girls who wanted to just be alive and a little kid uh, aren't going to like murder a bunch of teenage girls from an orphanage. Right. That don't make sense. That don't make no sense. So it wasn't her. It turns out it's a big old demon in there. It's a big old Batman demon. Pretending to be the little girl. It's a big old Batman As we learn demon. later in the movie with her creepy mom. Mm-hmm. Who... Who got Des- her face ripped off. Who, despite the fact that the entire first two-thirds of the movie, you're like, oh, the mom's hideously deformed. Like, she's like a monster, practically. And they have that whole scene where it's like, she's like a witch. Mm-hmm. And they, they see the illusion of, of the mom. She's like this horrible hag woman. And then that you was see just her. the demon, though. Yeah, I know. It's just the demon. But that's what it's built up to. Yeah. And then you actually see her, and it's just like, she's just like, she's just got like, like a fan of the opera mask. Yeah. And then you take it off, and it's just like, yeah, she's just missing an eye. Yeah, it's like not even that big of a it's deal. It's not even that big of a deal. That it's woman like, could have been like, you're so deformed. It's that like, woman, if she just had like a little eye patch, she'd be fine. She'd be like, hi kids, hi kids. I guess she couldn't walk though. She she had trouble moving about. Which is why was she had that the, the issue? It's why she had the the stair mover. Oh yeah. Right. So so, but she could still like get out of bed. Do you wear a wheelchair and just chill with the yeah. children? Be let like her a get mom some, figure. Let because her get she was some so error. sweet. She was the nicest character. She was like the nicest character besides the nun, who, who, but who was just the worst. She was really sweet, but she was so dumb. The well, the nun character was fine. The actress wasn't. She was the actress was. I I think the nun was the worst actress in the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I, okay. I'm always nervous about saying that because you're like, you don't know what fucking acting is. Uh, no, it was like... She wasn't good. It was as though... No. It was as though there was like a girl pretending to have English as her second language. Yeah, that's what it was. It's just like, you don't seem like you're an actual Spanish or, or Latina act. Well, I mean, you are, but it sounded like you were raised in L.A. Yeah, and uh, you're trying to Or pretend- New York, and you're pretending that you were... Yeah, it was really which, weird. if she isn't, that's going to be super mean to say. <laughs> I'm a Google it. You have a dumb accent, face. And then it turns out that, 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 that is my accent. I'm no, like, she's oh, okay. Actually, she's actually from, like, Venezuela. This is what she sounds like. Annabelle. Annabelle 2. And it's just called the creation. Yeah, right now it's got a seven out of ten on IMDb and like a sixty-eight on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, that sounds, Which about, sounds right. about right. Also, the least good thing about this movie was the CGI. Ugh, it was, it was so, so bad. bad. It was like, yeah, she's a Mexican American actress. Okay, maybe she was. I don't know. She wasn't that great. I'm sorry. I, I won't say anything about your accent, but you weren't that great of an actress. I mean, you're not terrible, but you're the not the greatest in the movie. Um, Janice and Nancy. Janice, Nancy. Janice, Nancy, and what was the other girl's name? La. Lana. Oh, no, Lana. <laughs> Lana. Maybe it was Nancy. Um, no, she's no, too Lula old. No, Lula Wilson. Doesn't even say on the thing. I have the IMDb page. Oh, she was in. We. She was in another origin story. Hmm. Uh, or Ouija. Origin of oh, evil. Ouija. That was pretty. That was okay. Linda. 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 Laura. Laura. Lana. Lana. Um. So. Hey, this is the whole scarecrow. Was this bowl. movie scary? The only reason it wasn't scary was because you kept talking. You <laughs> so, invited me. I know. I enjoyed it. You took the tension down a little bit. Except for that one part where like yelled balls really loud in the theater. People got scared. Pop out. It was a jump out. That didn't count. Jump outs don't count. Well, that's the thing. Here's the thing. If I am laughing the whole time, is it that scary? <laughs> I was laughing the whole time. It's like I may be dead, but at least I don't have polio. <laughs> I wish I had like a fucking commentary track for that movie. Oh. Um, like the jump scares, sure, but you can see those coming a mile away. They telegraphed a lot in this movie. Yeah. Um, if you took out all the jump scares, yeah. would you still have a creepy movie? 
I think the scenes where, um, you know, it wasn't jump scares, but like weird stuff was still happening. Mm -hmm. Like when when she was, when the the girl, um, uh, Janice Mm -hmm. was, and I was never really clear if it was, if it was just an illusion or if it was actually happening. But when everything was like, she was, she was running from the Annabelle doll and all that weird shit was happening and she got flung up against the ceiling. Mm-hmm. That was pretty freaky. The whole chase scene? The chase scene was freaky. The chase scene was really well shot. Which was actually, it was that scene is better than the finale chase scene later. Oh, yeah. Well, because it's a scarecrow. There is a scene in this movie. That is so unnecessary. There is a scene, well, one, it's unnecessary, but there's also a scene in this movie where the tension derives from a girl holding a light bulb into the, the ceiling. <laughs> Like, into the lamp. Yep. Like, if the light bulb comes out, it's going to get you. It got her anyway. Because the Scarecrow is a demon man. Demon man. It's also Um, Batman. He turns into, like, a bat creature. It's so weird. It's so weird. But it's worth the watch. The skeleton. The Scarecrow doesn't need to exist. But the movie was fun. The movie was definitely fun. When you realize that it's just going to be kind of a a, a semi-cheesy demon movie, you have a lot of fun in this movie. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And That's going to go with a few group good of creepy, creepy stuff in it. Oh, yeah. Regardless of my constant, won't shut the fuck up. Um, <laughs> I enjoyed your commentary. I, I'm i glad you did. I enjoyed it, too. Because that was a lot of fun. It was super fun. Also, those theaters now, like, they, they, the, 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 li- the aisles are so wide apart. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't bother anyone by whispering to the person next yeah. to you. No one can hear. Unless someone, unless you hear. People, I get the movie's a horror movie. Mm-hmm. But there were some scenes, and they're usually jump scares, where you could hear people on the clear other end of the fucking auditorium going, Ugh! I'm like, it's not that scary. That was me. <laughs> that was me. You I, weren't that nearly as bad. I could no, because that happened to me once. Mm. I got, because I wasn't expect. it was the only one I wasn't expecting. Right. I was like in the beginning, like towards the beginning of when the f- serious stuff first started happening. Mm-hmm. And I jumped out of my seat for like a second, just like, Ugh! And then yelled balls into my hands. Yeah. Balls! Balls! <laughs> was like, it was great. I was like, sorry. I th- was that when... Was that even during the creepy scene? Or was that when they were faking us out at the beginning? When, I don't when, know. It, when it was like, the, what, are the, what are these notes being left all over my house? And it's like, oh, it's just my daughter being a dick. By the no, way. No, that, that wasn't the one I screamed okay. at. Um, but that was one that scared me too. Which, despite being fake outs, I don't really like fake outs. That part did do pretty well to give you visual mm-hmm. clues. As to when the weird stuff started happening yeah. later in the movie. Mm-hmm. It was telegraphed, but not nearly as bad as, like, you could tell when the camera would hold on things for a little bit too long, like mm-hmm. the scarecrow. Yep. Or the, the, the under the staircase. Yeah, you'd be like, okay, so the, something's gonna happen or with the, this. Or the, 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 the uh, dumbwaiter. Mm-hmm. You're just like... That's gonna be part it, of the movie ch- later. Chekhov's scarecrow, Chekhov's dumbwaiter. Um, you know it's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. And then the last... 15 minutes of the movie is a, is a demon runaway scene. Yeah. Which I feel like goes on a little bit too long, but that's only because of the scarecrow. If they yeah. cut the scarecrow bit out, it'd be fine. Oh, absolutely. Um, and then a nun beats the shit out of a doll f- and, like, and wraps mom gets a cut in half for no rosary. Reason. Oh, yeah, mom got cut in half. We so never, she's just crawling around there with no legs. Never find legs. We never find the legs. And then they seal her back up in the warded room with all the Bible stuff. And then immediately, immediately gets immediately unsealed. Out. Well, and, well, I mean, that's the thing, though. It got unsealed, but because they had to throw the girl in, mm-hmm. Janice in, because she was possessed. Yep. Um, poor Janice. Poor Janice. Who is made out to be the... Is your computer magnetic? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Whack. Um, whack. Whack, yo. Yeah. Oh, that's wizard. Um, That's wizard. Janice is made out to be the main character of this movie until about halfway through when she gets flung up against a ceiling and then you know she's... Bu- well, actually, no, because she doesn't get possessed until later. Mm-hmm. First, she's slapped up against a ceiling um, and then so she has to be put back into a wheelchair. Yep. Because she, she had polio, polio or something. I mean, we um, did, but said I had polio. Yeah, so her legs were messed up, but she was learning to walk again and then it right smashed her the back into the wheelchair so she couldn't get upstairs anymore. That sucks. And so, and then they, and then the nun, which wasn't the nun, it was a visage of a random nun that you told me was a callback to the Conjuring films yep. that push her into the, the shed, the scarecrow shed, where um, the animal ghost demon. I don't like when children crawl at me very fast. And then vomit it into her mouth. Ugh. I hate that. 
That's my least favorite demon trope is mouth vomit. The I know the exorcist vomit. did it, but stop. <laughs> yeah, the exorcist was should have been the last one. Yeah, first and last. First I saw it wasn't the first. But, yeah. I don't know, that was a fun, it was a fun movie. It was a fun movie. Yeah, After we else. ripped it to pieces. As we rip- no, but that's the thing. Like, I make fun, I make fun of this movie. Because it is flawed. It's yeah. a 7 out of 10. But it's, if you want to see an entertaining and largely well done, um, uh, aside from, because what I complain about is is pretty commonplace yeah. in all these modern horror movies. I'm just bitchy because I'm fucking high horse when it comes to movies. <laughs> I, it's a fun movie. I think you should go see it if yeah, you like absolutely. haunted demon movies because it was a lot of fun. And you do get creeped out and scared every once in a while. Some mm-hmm. legitimate ones, not just jump scares. Yeah. Although I will say the CGI bit. That was terrible. That was awful. That was bad CGI. Although the, the moment I stopped being scared of this movie and the moment where I started having the time of my life was when we we see the ghost of the girl for the first time. Mm-hmm. And, she, and she goes, I need your help. I need something. And then I'm just like, your soul? And it was like, your, your soul. soul. <laughs> and so I was just like, yep, this movie's going places. And it's going to be hilarious. This is exactly what I thought it was. And it was fun. It I was. had oh, so much fun with this movie. That was a really fun one. And I wasn't terrified at all when I got home. I wasn't either. I was just like, well, time to go to bed. The drive was terrifying. Driving yeah. home alone was Dri- Driving alone in a car in the middle of the night where Slenderman is on, your, on the roads I mean, is terrifying. Most, most of the time... Most of the time in Park, there's not very many cars out at night. No, so it's it's quite lonely. It's very lonely. Yeah, unless you're on LA Ave. Uh, even on LA Ave, there was really? only like wow, there was okay. only like five or six cars I saw. Well, it was pretty late, so I guess yeah. One that late. One that late. One that late. <laughs> but that was Annabelle Creation. Yep, and this was the Foil Hat Broadcast. And that indeed was our show. Hey. Thank you very much for supporting the show and listening. As always, if you would like to give us a little bit of a donation, you can do so at patreon.com. Foil hat broadcast. Wait, yes. Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash slash foil hat broadcast. And you can help us keep this show and the, in the ether and also do great things for us like food. I love food. And I, I'm a college student and I've got to make car payments. You're helping us live, live and of course, keep the show growing. Um, hey, if you have a haunted doll collection or uh, have seen someone in your neighbors, also don't go into basements. Um, you should tell us all about it at uh, the Foil Broadcast at gmail.com. We love hearing from all of our fans. Or leave it in the comments. Yes, we. this is on YouTube. Well, also, we're on the podcast either now, so we can... Oh, yeah. Whatever. Leave it in comments or send us an email. Send us an email is probably the better one, because actually, I do have... I, I installed... Uh, recently, I installed a, a Google Chrome extension mm-hmm. app thing that turns all YouTube comments into variations of Herp Derp. So, like, it, it, I don't see any YouTube comments anymore. It's just like, Herp Derp Derp Herp Herp Derp 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 Herp Because I hate YouTube comments. They're, <laughs> they're usually... Vi- not you, lovelies, of course. Although, sometimes we do get spam on our oh, own videos. Oh, the spam's annoying. Um, but, you know. Great show. Come look YouTube at YouTube is a heinous Instagram. place for, for discussion. But, but hey. what it is. You guys, though. We love you. And we appreciate everything you've ever given us. Oh, yeah. Thank you for listening, ladies, gentlemen... And I guess if a haunted doll is listening to this, Robert. I mean, goddamn oh, Robert. yeah, and Robert the doll. Uh, good night. Go to bed, kids. <laughs> <laughs>